Hey, Danny. How's it going, man? Hey, what's up? Who am I speaking with? So this is Dylan. Dylan. I oh, have, hey, what's up, Dylan? I'll, I, uh, I call, I've called him before yeah, about yeah. the Funkos. The I Funkos. totally fucking... Yeah, remember I was like, uh, do I get rid of my Funkos? Oh, if, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Funkos. I made that shit up. I thought it was funny. It's, oh, okay. it's not. But oh, okay. regardless, I have... I'm gullible. Like, I'm gullible, Dylan. I know, I know. Um, huge fan, boys, cats. You guys are climbing to the top, I think, Thanks, in my Dave. opinion. Thanks, Dave. Anyways, horror story, roommate... Um, I, I've always like I've had odd roommates, um, but this one is kind of like ultimate. Uh, I don't know. So it starts with uh, I was uh, moving to a city that was like three hours away from me. It was very hard to find a place uh, through mutual friends. I got involved with this one guy. He, he had this like cheap place. So I was staying with him and his girlfriend and uh like the the craziness starts like day two like uh i was how old were you you? this is okay so i'm 29 and i was probably about like 24 25 okay so um mutual friend they hooked me up and it was like you know i was able to move like very fairly quickly without having to sign a lease so like day two i locked my door and I'm sleeping. I, I've like, I, I kind of knew this guy like through parties. Like I probably saw him like once or twice. And so anyways, like I wake up to my doorknob, like shaking. And I was like, yo, what the fuck? I was like, yeah, who's there? And then all I, all, like, all I heard was like, oh, sorry. And then he like went back to his room. It's like, okay, what the fuck? Like, I don't know if he was sleepwalking or what. So that was like first weird thing. I'm, I'm I'm staying with them for like a couple months, and like I was kind of like a big drinker at the time, and so was he. And so it was kind of one of those like, as long as I was a little buzzed, I could just like keep to myself. Him and his girlfriend kind of just did their own thing. But it wasn't until we moved into this new house. Like I said, it just sucks when you're in your early twenties. Like finding places is a, is a huge pain in the ass. So sometimes you end up having to move in with people that you normally wouldn't, but course, it's just, right. So anyways, like that was probably the, the weirdest thing that happened. I mean, there's, there's probably some other shit that I, I'm, I that was it. Of, that but... was the whole horror story. No, no, that's not the horror story. I'm oh. saying that was like just a taste of like this. It started getting weirder. So like, gotcha. Okay. I moved into this place second day that something like that happens. I called him out. I was like, yeah, can you just like not do that shit? And I think I, I was like, he, I don't know if he was lying to me. Like if he was sleepwalking, and I only thought about how weird it was once I started to really get to know this guy. So like, all right, two months goes by, we move into this new place. So I'd only been living with them for like two months and I, I didn't really see him that often. Like him and his girlfriend were in and out. So we move into this new place, like a couple weeks in, he met this guy at this casino and he just allowed him, it was like this homeless dude. And he just lets him start living in the garage. And so this was like a private nice owner. Him. <laughs> like, <laughs> dude, he's this guy's crashing in our garage, and the lease that we signed it was like a pretty nice place for where we were living. And so I called the guy, and he was like, "Oh, well, whatever. As long as like, I think the dude who allowed us to move in allowed like, you know, three tw- like early twenty kids that should not have been in this house. I think he was just desperate for people to move in. Okay, so he was like." Uh, he was just I, like I don't pay, go pay like, the rent like whatever exactly and i don't want to go into tangents but you you know the movie cable guy yeah. you know when you know when matthew broderick is trying to convince everyone that jim carrey's a fucking freak yeah but nobody believes and then, him. And everybody believes jim carrey dude like, that's man. exactly what's starting to happen to me like the yeah. landlord wasn't really believing me <laughs> like he had all these idiosyncrasies he was like uh, you know, it's kind of sad, but he had like alcoholism where he was starting to get the shakes and he was, he was still like in his early twenties. He was younger than I was. Okay. So we're talking like fucking no job. Girlfriend was making the money and he would be getting the shakes in like the afternoon, this type of dude. Right. And so, uh, anyways, this guy is living in our garage and he's like sleeping on blankets. So because he allows this guy to live in the garage, uh, I let my buddy crash at the place until he finds a new place. So he's living on our couch for like two weeks. Well, he has like an extra mattress. He lets the dude in the garage use the mattress. Two days later, he fucking pisses all over it. 
Okay. The guy's staying on it with no sheets or anything. And then my friend flips and is just like, dude, what? The, I can't. Like, this is, like I said, when you're into drinking, some of this stuff you can tolerate when everyone's like, you know, late night. It, it, it wasn't a party house, but it was a house full of fucking misfits that shouldn't have been in the suburbs. Oh, okay. You know? Yeah, yeah. So, so, so anyways, what, what happened then? Okay, yeah, sorry. So I'm like, he pisses all over the fucking mattress. I let him borrow my phone so he can try to get a job. My friend, when he catches him, like, using the phone to, like, look up, he, like, caught him, like, jerking off in the garage. <laughs> so that's when it was, like, this was all in a week, right? <laughs> so this yeah. is, like, dude, this guy has to fucking go. And I fucking, like snapped and i was like drank a bunch of jameson showed up i was like you guys are fucking nuts well we we had a another roommate so it's me crazy guy his girlfriend and this other guy and i finally was like i had enough of this shit i'm leaving and no one would like it, it felt like i was going crazy the landlord wasn't believing me the other roommate was pissed that i was going to leave because he's like well how the fuck are we going to pay rent i'm like dude are, no one is seeing what's going on here this is like <laughs> this guy this in the garage nuts. Yeah, I was like, he's got to go. So anyways, the next day, the guy that I was telling you about, uh, the the kind of the guy who has the jitters, alcoholic, um, he, I, I snap on him, and then I end up calling the police on it. I'm like, dude, this guy's, I I'm feel, I feel threatened by this guy. You guys got to come pick him up. The cops show up, and they're like, we don't have any evidence that he did anything. I was like, no, he was coming after me, all this shit. So that, you know. Wait, you made that I'm up? Going. No, I didn't make it up. Oh, you're saying he was coming? I'm saying oh, he the was cops, coming after you. Yeah, he was. Like he threatened me. Like he was like drunk and stumbling, and like he literally was going to attack me because I like called them all out. Oh. And I was just like, "You guys are all fucking nuts. You guys are freak circus freaks." Like, and he didn't like that. So by calling the police, police show up, and there's no evidence that anything was really happening. Oh yeah, which sucks because so, then they leave, and now you're just stuck with all of that. So okay, so this is I'll wrap up the story. This is the, where the horror story comes in. So. I start tolerating the guy in the garage because I'm like, oh, whatever, I'm, I'm getting the fuck out of here. And so he's chilling. And then my friend who was staying on the couch, he had find an, he had found another place at this point. He's like, dude, just stay at my new place. We'll get everything moved out. So the guy and his girlfriend were gone. They went out drinking somewhere. And when they were gone, I show up just fucking like, like tweakers at 2 a.m. would. I pack up all my stuff in this guy's car. I leave some things and I just like leave. I'm like ghost. Like I'm not, I'm not seeing these people ever again. So when the guy, the, the homeless dude, he said when the dude and his girlfriend got back, he was very upset that I called the police on him. And so he was like, he told me this with my phone that I gave him. He texted me and he's like, dude, when he thought you were coming back and I saw him come from his room stumbling with a hammer and he's like, shouldn't have called the cops. And I guess he was hiding in my closet waiting for me to get home. <laughs> Holy and shit. Then he, he passed out wasted. Dude, God forbid he listens to this show. That would like blow my mind, right? That would be uh, full circle. I mean, based on the listenership of this show, probably actually a decent chance he's a listener. Shout out to Hammerman. Okay. Yeah, shout out. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So anyway, uh, just to sum this up, you call the police on this crazy guy in the garage, then he gets mad at you, and he's waiting in your closet with a hammer to murder you. Yes, and the only uh, and that's what the homeless dude told me. Okay. And and mind you, the homeless dude is like my age. When I say homeless dude, I mean I don't mean this guy guy's like 40 i mean yeah, this yeah, kid's okay. like 22 all right and so anyways uh yeah okay we gotta wrap, got, we gotta wrap this up yes, you got 30 my bad, but yes yeah that's kind of it and then haven't spoke to him since then but uh yeah, yeah. all right well i'm glad you didn't get murdered i appreciate and that. i hope you didn't make this up like your funko pop story i no, no i definitely didn't make this shit up okay right. guy okay but i do have a funko pop of always sunny i didn't make that up oh okay all right all right cool thanks <laughs> all right peace <laughs> yeah bye Shout out.